Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite hobbies. I'm gonna go crabbing. And today I'm gonna have my mom with me. And we're gonna go to get some crabs. I'll show you guys how to do it. have my bait all ready set up the night before they are all frozen in the cage so I don't have to put them in when I got here so they are all ready to go all I do is just need to attach them to the fishing pole and I'm ready so these are all the baits cages I made by myself and all these are packed with herring and I'm ready to cast it out so I can start getting my crab so one of my favorite bait to use for crabbing is herring it is one of the most better baits that I have used and I always catch crab using herring and before that I was using either anchovies, mackerel or squid and those are okay they are not the best and usually I just skunk on using those. So the best time to go crabbing is during the incoming tide and during the slack tide. So during this trip I only have 2 hours to work here. I came here during the high tide and the tide is starting to push out to the ocean so during this time all the crab activity is going to be slow and it's going to be pushing the crabs back into deeper water so I have two hours to work here. For my first pool I have two crabs here. One is a really small dungeness and the other is a rock crab. Uh, this is a little bit too small so I threw it back in. This is where I got my keeper crab. As you can see, I'm struggling to pull it because I felt like a tension, like something heavy on the line. So I kept reeling, reeling. And this is where I noticed it's got to be a keeper. Inches more than enough. As you can see, the tide is starting to go back into the ocean and it's starting to become low tide again. So, every pool I have is coming up nothing. So, I decided to just go home with, with the one keeper. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and remember to subscribe and comment below if you'd like to see more of me crabbing and I'll see you guys later. Bye.